Hey folks, uh, Mr. Bullock here, and this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is on graphing and solving quadratic inequalities. Let's go ahead and begin with the board problem. Normally I don't have the board problems. That's because I made uh, most of the videos about eight months ago. Uh, but since I, I just inserted this, so that's why it's here. Anyways, so let's go ahead and solve those, you guys, and pause it if you can, and then solve it, you guys. I'll give you the answers in just a second. All right, to save time, you guys, uh, uh, if you factor this, factors of negative 24 that add to negative 2 or negative 6 and 4. So when you set the factors equal to 0, you get um, uh, negative 4 and 6. Okay, here you get plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, and then divide everything by 3, and you should get that as your answer. Okay, on this one, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and factor this first, make it x times x plus 4, and then I'm going to use my intercepts. To graph the intercepts, you guys, this is a parabola, you guys. So when I graph those intercepts, I get those guys right there at 0 and negative 4. And I know the vertex is halfway between this. So here's, here's 1, 2, 3, 4. So my axis of symmetry is going to be right down here, x equals negative 2. And then when you plug in negative 2 right here, negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 is going to get me um, uh, negative 4 right there. So there's my... There's my parabola right there, okay? And we're going to use this parabola again, okay? I think we're going to use it right off the bat here, okay? So let's go ahead and graph and solve the quadratic inequalities. So here's number one. See, there it is right there. It's the same one. Okay, we know what this graph's going to look like, except it's going to be dotted because there's no equals bar on there. So let's go ahead and graph that, okay? It's the same graph, except I made it dotted right there. Okay, you guys with me? All right, and then we're going to shade it, you guys. We're either going to shade the inside or shade the outside. So we test a point to see, uh, test it in here to see which side to shade. I normally test 0, 0, but this baby's going right through 0, 0, so I can't. So I'm going to test like 1, 1. 1, 1's on the outside. If 1, 1 makes this true, then I shade the outside. If it makes it false, then I don't shade the outside. And 1, 1 made it false. Um, so that means I shade the inside. So there it is right there. It's that uh, sort of graph. Okay. All right. Let's do that with this one here. Okay. This one I'm going to go ahead and factor. And then uh, when I factor, I get uh, my intercepts to be negative 4 or positive 1. Okay. So here's my intercepts at negative 4 or positive 1. And that's 5 between. So if I go 2 and a half, well, 2 and a half takes me to negative 1 and a half, which is negative 3 halves. And to get the y coordinate way down here, I plugged in negative 3 halves right up here. Negative 3 halves squared plus 3 times negative 3 halves minus 4. And if I did everything right and I checked, I got negative 25 fourths, which is the same as negative 6 and a fourth. So there it is right there. All right, and then it's a dotted parabola. Okay, and then when we tested 0, 0, when I tested 0, 0, it made this inequality true. So since 0, 0 was on the inside, it got shaded on the inside. All right. Okay, so let's graph the system of inequalities. Okay, so here, whoops, I did a little bit too much at first. Sorry. I should have just given you these equations first right here, you guys, and these should have been in black, but that's all right. Okay, so here's the blue one right here. Here's uh, y equals negative x squared plus 4. Okay, it's up there at plus 4, and it's going down because it's negative. And when I graph this one, I'm going to go ahead and factor that to x minus 3, x plus 1. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I've got to shade it. Sorry, I've got to shade it. And it's a solid parabola because of the equals bar. On the last test, I had a lot of kids um, uh, overlook the solid and dotted part. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to shade the inside. So you can see that little arrow is going to be. I'm going to shade the inside, but I still have to graph, the, graph this red guy, okay? So when I graph that red guy, it's a dotted parabola. And so there's the, the red guy graphed, and there's the vertex and how I graph the vertex. And I tested 0, 0 again, and 0, 0 made it yes. So that means it's going to be to the left of the blue guy and to the left of the red guy over here. So it's going to be in here in the mixture where the red and blue overlap, which makes purple. Okay, so there's my final answer is that little piece of whatever right there. Okay, uh, all right, let's try another one here, you guys. Okay, so here's that one right there. All right. And then uh, shading, so shading made it yes, 0, 0 was a yes, so it's going to be inside. And then this one here, I'm going to I'm gonna pull a 2 out of, no, I didn't, I'm sorry. I did the, the uh, I'm finding the vertex, x equals opposite b over 2a. Here's b, so opposite 4 over 2 times negative 2, I get 1, and then I'm going to plug in 1 right there. When I plug in 1, I did the math earlier, I get 4. So the vertex of this guy is over here at 1, 4. This guy is opening down. So when I go over 1, it goes down 2 times 1 squared. Over 1, down 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. If I went over 2, 
2 squared is 4, but it's always this number times that. So if I go over 2, it's going to go down 2 times 2 squared, which is 2 times 4, which is 8. So it's going to drop down there. It's a solid one. 0, 0 made it yes again. So it's going to be inside, inside, and it's going to be this little purple piece right there. Okay? All right. What else do I have for you? Okay, so solve this guy using a table. Okay, so on this one here, when they want you to use a table... First, make it uh, equal to zero, or in this case, less than or equal to zero. And then notice when it's less than or equal to zero, we're looking for negative numbers. If it was greater than zero, I would think positive numbers, okay? Then I'm going to make a table over here, an X table. I'm going to plug in all of these X's right here. So I'm going to go negative 5 squared plus negative 5 minus 6. I want to see what Y value I get. Okay, and so whatever y value I get, just pretend like this equals y right there. And then we're looking for the negative. So I want to get negative numbers here. And then whatever negative numbers, that's going to get me these x's over here. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in negative 5. Negative 5 squared right here. Negative 5 squared plus negative 5 minus 6. I get 14. Okay, that's positive. I don't want that one. So this one, this x value, I don't want. I want it to be negative, okay? So when I plug in negative 4, negative 4 squared gets me 6. That's still positive, okay? When I plug in negative 3, hey, that's 0. And since it's less than or equal to 0, I'm going to take that one. So I'm going to start it at x equals negative 3 because it gave me 0. All right, let's try. Uh, there's the rest of them right there. Okay, again, I'm looking for the negatives right here. Negative, 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 negative. There's 0. So it can between be between 0 and um, it can be less than or equal to zero. So what x values gave me these values that are less than or equal to zero? These x values over here did, okay? So I have them all numbered right there. So my x's are these blue guys right here. My x's go from negative three uh, and positive two. And it's inclusive because it has the bars on it because it said I can include zero. So it's going to be uh, these zeros can be good, so that means these are the x values that gave me that. So what x values will give me negative numbers or zero? These x values will give me negative numbers or zero, okay? All right, so that's what it means by a table of values, okay? I like this method the best, but your, your book's going to ask you to do both, okay? So solve algebraically. Again, I'm going to make it uh, set it less than or equal to zero, and then I'm going to factor it, okay, and find the roots, okay? So there it is factored. My critical numbers are where uh, this equals uh, 4 or this equals negative 1. Okay, then we make a number line, you guys, with your critical values. Then I'm going to test a region over here. I'll test a number with these factors right here. So I'd like to test probably negative 2. Here I want to test 0. 0 is in between here, and then here I'll test 5. And I just want to plug those numbers in. Negative 2 minus 4, negative 2 plus 1. I want to see is it positive or negative. Okay, so I'm going to test numbers. Uh, with these factors right here, okay? Only noting whether it's positive or negative. That's all I care about because I want to know where it's negative. So when I plugged in negative 2 right here, I get negative 2 minus 4 times negative 2 plus 1. Well, that's a negative. That's a negative. A negative times a negative. This region's positive. I don't want that region, okay? Let's test x equals 0 in for put in 0 right here. 0 minus 4, 0 plus 1. Again, all I care is is it positive or negative. I get negative times a positive. This region's negative, so I want that one because it says less than zero. I want it to be less than zero. Okay, and then I'll test x equal five right here. When I test x equal five, I get a positive times a positive is a positive. So I don't want that one. I want uh, just the negative, so I shrunk it up a little bit right there. I want just the negatives because it says less than zero. So that means negative. So my answer is going to be negative one is less than or equal to, or is less than x is less than four. Okay? All right, you guys got some of that to try, and here would be your homework assignment. Take care, you guys.